Uh, we have another episode of She-Hulk. This is the penop- penultimate episode. That means it's the ult- this episode before the ultimate episode, penultimate. Um, yeah, why we have a na- yeah? Why we have a name for second to last is beyond me. I guess it sounds cool. Um, but from a storytelling element, the penultimate episode sets up for the ultimate episode. So you get a lot of information setting up in the mm-hmm. last episode. And yeah. this episode is called Ribbit and Rip It. Ribbit and Rip It. This right. episode, I couldn't help but be reminded of, and I, the 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 showrunners had to do this on purpose. It reminds me of an old school Batman and Robin episode. Really, the old the old school ones, like the the Adam, what's his name, Adam West. Adam, yeah, it, 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 if you watch it again, there's a lot of callbacks to it, and, and it also looks like a like a um uh, a Batman Forever or a Batman and Robin movie. It just has like bright colors. Um, mm. like a weird, we a weird villain with a weird purpose. Like, like, what? Why does this guy have twenty five? How can he afford twenty five bad dudes? How can you f- pay his, for twenty five dudes? Rich, so. yeah, but my lord, and like, what person says? Listen, I can't. My super suit malfunctioned, so I'm going. Uh, I'm going to uh, kidnap the person who made it, and he's going to just sit there and make me super suits. Well, he lost the case. 25. He lost the case. Yeah, but it's just, it's ridiculous, uh, and and the show kind of knows it is. There, um, but Mike, there's very few people that make super suits. So, but Mike, I was kind of concerned because um, yeah. you're a big Daredevil fan. I love Daredevil. How, yeah. how are you feeling after watching this episode? I was I was I was worried. I thought it was a pretty good reintroduction for Daredevil into the MCU. Mm. Yeah, good. I was worried, but that sounds no, good. No, ma- no major problems with it. No, it's um, it's campier than I thought, but the times we do see him fight, I felt really good about it. Like those fight scenes, we didn't. Yeah, see like enough when, of them. when they break into the warehouse and we get the hall, we get a hallway fight scene. Yeah, and yeah. then it's about to be a really epic hallway fight scene, <laughs> and She Hulk <laughs> kind of busts in and takes out the rest of the guys. It's just so good. Like it's like. Like you, you can tell those guys have definitely watched a lot of Daredevil, and they're like, we get, we're getting the classic Daredevil fight scene we've seen a thousand times, and we're like, yeah, this is it, they're gonna right? Do it. And then She Hulk just like comes down, like, oh, we're done, you know? Yeah, pretty fun, pretty funny, pretty funny. Yeah, it was good. Um, I guess we should start from the beginning. Yeah, let's um, talk about Leapfrog. Yeah, man, he is an actual villain. I actually, I dig ha- his costume. I like his costume in this. I had I had a comic with him in it a long, long, long time ago. Yeah. Um, but he's a joke. He is a joke character. Uh, so again, she hulks diving in with these joke characters, which I'm fine with. But Leaf Leapfrog's a legitimate character, and and yeah, it's, it's interesting how, how they use him. I, and the costume did look good, even though he's like a you know a throwaway character. Uh, I thought he was fun. Uh, I thought that all his little taglines and the cool stuff he was saying was funny. I thought that he was just kind of like a very um. Interesting person around, and that was great. I, I thought it was fun. Yeah, but um, he's definitely a he's definitely a nobody. In fact, his wiki uh, says that he's retired. He doesn't even do this anymore, <laughs> which is funny. Yeah. yeah well, cool. like uh, apparently they in the in the comics, his father is Leapfrog, uh, and Eugene, who we have here, is that was the goodbye. Frogman, yeah, I think he, yeah. He, so they kind of twisted like the names of the father uh, and the yeah. son. The father in this one's just some rich dude. Mm-hmm. The son becomes Leapfrog. That's pretty good. It reminds me too of the costume. Reminds me of those. Um, what's that movie called? Ah, uh, I forget. I just totally forgot now. Uh, it was like it, Power it was Rangers. Totally, no, not Power Rangers. Man, if, I totally forgot. But it was just. It's like. These movies, it's like a, it was a superhero comic book based about these kids who were actually trying to be superheroes in a world that wasn't, didn't have powers. What was it called? They made a couple movies about it. And never mind. Hmm. Um, uh, but his costume. I, I vaguely remember the movie that you're talking about right now. Yeah, I yeah. the name of it. Yeah, yeah who knows? We're, get, we're getting old. Um, but but I, like the suit. The- I like that he has like the suit of armor as a helmet. You know, it's painted green. Um, yeah, but uh, again, he's a cool. joke. You know, which is funny. Um, yeah, it, yeah. It, I mean, leapfrog. And that's, and that's, yeah, but <laughs> I, we're getting ready in a few in a few minutes. We're going to talk about why the the She Hulk episodes have been so nutty when it comes to superheroes, and I'm really excited about that. But first, 
Um, Matt Murdock, when he walks in, he says, "I'm here." Brilliant way for the, for for him to enter. I mean, I, like you can tell the show's been waiting for us. Like we, the show knows we've been waiting, and it finally right. he walks in. I thought it was good. Uh, the legal stuff was fun. I liked it a lot. Yeah, he's um, he's running late, but he's here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he said, "What do you say?" Um, he he couldn't find parking. That's pretty funny, right? You know? Yeah. Um, and he so this is interesting in the show. Um, Jen- Jennifer Walters wanted um the guy who makes the costumes. What's his name again? I forget his name. Luke. Uh, he he. Yeah, she wanted Luke's client list because she wanted to see if Luke has a history of making defective uh, suits. And then right. uh, Matt Murdock was like, you can't have it because you will compromise superheroes and super like people who get these suits from him. They're superheroes. You'd compromise them. So in, in a way, he definitely showed up so he could protect himself, right? Because he was worried about his identity being uh, revealed. Yeah, um, yeah. But then he says, the he just kind of says this real quick. He quick, he said, the Sokovia Accords are repealed. Uh, I didn't know that. Did did what? So let's back up, Mike. What movie were the Sokovia Accords uh, signed into law? Mm, that was right after uh, the Scarlet Witch accidentally, yeah, like blew up a building when she was she blew saving. Up. She was saving lives, and she blew up a building with a, a, a building. Some more condenses. Like a little it. piece out of the building, not like an entire building. She killed a lot of people by accident. But yeah. what was, what movie was that in? Um, Captain okay. America: Civil War. Oh, okay, Civil War. Okay. Now, this is the first we've ever heard from anyone in the MCU that the Sokovia Accords will repeal. So, just for the listeners, the Sokovia Accords are were were created because when Wanda did that, uh, the UN and the governments of the world wanted some rules and regulations for being a superhero, and that's what the Sokovia Accords were created. Now, the Sokovia Accords are based off of something called the Superhuman Registration Act that was that was created in uh, the Marvel Comics Civil War comics, which also did the same thing. The idea that superheroes have to be registered and controlled. The Superhero mm-hmm. Registration Act is based off of something called the Mutant Registration Act that was, that cre- was created in X Men that wanted to register all mutants. It's a long story, but Sokovia Accords being repealed. That is brand new information that explains why we've seen so many superheroes. Like, you know, yeah. I didn't even really thought about it, but mm-hmm. Sokovia did, like, the records did say if you were a superhero, you had to be regulated. But since they were repealed, I guess it's just a field day. You have superheroes all over the place. Why didn't they tell us this earlier? <laughs> like, I, I don't understand. Thoughts? Uh, I mean, I didn't even catch that really on the uh, on the watch through. Um, but yeah, it's the most it's... important thing of the episode. The most important <laughs> thing. Because it changes. It changes well, it answers so much. The questions everybody's been asking about: Where are all these people coming from? Where are they coming from? How is it legal? And apparently, so from what we've heard, from what we heard from Matt Murdock, it's completely legal to be a superhero. In fact, like. The, the judge didn't bat an eye that one of the this this guy here is has a super suit that lets him fly and was putting right. jet fuel into it. He was like, "Well, that's fine." <laughs> like apparently, being a superhero is a thing that you could just and, and do. apparently, apparently, you can make suits for superheroes, no problem. So you're not you know you're not considered like an illegal weapons dealer or anything. Here's an issue, though, Mike. The Sokovia Accords were still in place in which movie that we both watched and loved? Uh, <laughs> Spider Man, Spider Man, No Way Home. When How do we know was, they were still in place there? Because when he was being interrogated by the officers, the, the guys there, I remember the guy saying that he was doing something in in uh, in. That, that was a against violation the of the in violation of, yes yeah i remember him saying those words so between spider-man no way home and she hulk episode eight somehow the sokovia course were, were repealed we have now, no, no way home that's the last of the spider-man movies right yes well okay of those the, yeah. latest, the latest yeah because remember spider like they, they held spider-man but but then like they let him go so that it was like hey okay you can be a superhero go ahead but it's so strange like Something this big, the Sokovia Accords is being repealed. You would think they could have, they could have had a whole episode about this on She Hulk. It's a legal thing. They could have had a whole episode where she works with the yeah, person and they yeah. repeal the Sokovia Accords. It's 
very strange how to just drop this in. Uh, and it changes everything. So all of a sudden, being a superhero is not only okay, it's you do what you want. So it, it changed, mm-hmm. and, it, and it kind of, the show, we've definitely seen a lot of superheroes, and we've all asked why we've seen so many superheroes, and now we get to get to see it, which is, it's just odd. It's, it's an odd thing to happen so quickly. Yeah. I'm curious Jen was see... wondering why uh, a lawyer from New York would come all the way out here <laughs> for a, you know, what's a pretty minor court case. Yes, he was trying, he was trying to protect his identity, because, you know, um, what's his face uh, knows it. Just well, and what did he tell um, Jen? What was his excuse? Oh, uh, one for them, one for me. So the idea is he he does pro bono work in Hell's Kitchen, but he does corporate work when he needs to to pay the bills, which is right. which is interesting. Well, he also uh, said he, that Luke Jacobson made him a couple of new suits. A couple of new suits, Mike. Yeah, so feel so good. Maybe there's a good looking one. Yeah, I almost promise you that the next time we see Daredevil, he'll have a different suit on. I hope so. I think this. I think this golden red suit was a one off. Yeah, uh, yeah, and the gold. Jen, the Jen's gold, absolutely right that the uh, ketchup, and, ketchup mustard and mustard color scheme not a good look. <laughs> well, the, especially for a guy that fights at night. Yeah, the golden red um, suit fit She Hulk. It was colorful. It was fun. I don't mm-hmm. think it fits for the next episode. But let me ask you something, Mike. In the Daredevil, we had three Daredevil Netflix series, correct? They were gritty. They were grimy. And Matt mm-hmm. Murdock was always kind of in a bad mood. You know, he was never really happy. In this episode of She-Hulk, he's legitimately in a good mood. He seems happy. Well, he's right? in California. Yeah, that's true. California is fun. <laughs> uh, especially L.A. Have you been to L.A. before? Yeah, I've been to L.A. Yeah, I love, I love L.A. That's I, great. Really, I wish I could go back. My, my wife and I went to that observatory and looked down at the at the skyline. Ooh. Is that the, um, the building that you see on all these shows? Like, I think it's been shown in, in yeah. this... Yeah. 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 Okay. So you, you go there, like when we went there, it was packed full of people. And like you just go and like you just look at the, the or watch the sunset and right. you see the sea light up. And you don't see any stars, but you see like this beautiful landscape of the city. It's LA's mm-hmm. amazing. Yeah. Shout out to all my LA friends. I have none in LA. <laughs> um, but no, but, but so are you concerned that the Daredevil show that you know and love is going to be different because maybe we're going to have a different smiling, laughing Matt Murdock? No, I don't feel? think so. I mean, he always he always made quips. You know, he he joked around kind of like James Bond does. You know, mm. so that doesn't that doesn't worry me at all. The only thing I'm worried about is seeing that catch up a mustard suit. You know, too much. Well, we'll see. We'll see. Um, yeah. I'm not too concerned about it. Um, because, like, I, even in that, even in that hallway fight scene, the one thing that stood out was his stupid shiny helmet. But did you see his the work with the Billy Clubs? I love that one. That Billy was Club very shot cool. Had, that was very had, cool. Like, yeah, they he, like the they have a work. chain that attaches them. You yeah, know, it's, throw one it's, and it comes back. That was awesome. It's, it's good stuff. Now, yeah. I'm. Just, I just hope that Disney Plus understands what it has with this Daredevil. Because people love him. They love him. They love the actor. They love the character. They love the Netflix shows. Uh, I hope they treat them well. And I hope that Daredevil um, Born Again is going to be really, really good. I hope so. I mean, I just, I'm hoping. When I was reading up on Leapfrog, um, he, was a, he was a villain, uh, I guess, from the very beginning in the comics. And yeah. the first superhero he ever encountered was Daredevil. Mm-hmm. Good call there. Good, good check. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and, but to be, to be clear to the listeners, there is a discussion amongst nerds like us whether the Netflix um, episodes are canon and whether they existed in the current MCU. I'm going to say yes to that, um, but we'll I mean, I have to see. But yeah, I, I think I, so. I think there's there's too many tendrils. Yeah, and, and coming when, out of those shows and into the MCU for it not to be considered canon. Yeah, and, and when um, Matt like looked at Jen and he said, "I'm Daredevil," and then the music was playing, it right. kind of was supposed to kind of make us remember and kind of tie that in. Yeah, and, like you don't know who I am. I'm Daredevil, and she's like, "I don't know who you yeah, are." Yeah, she has no her. idea who he is. Yeah, yeah, she's um, not into the whole superhero thing that much, though. Yeah, I beyond yeah, the Avengers, it was worked away. I think Daredevil was really cool. Um, I think it was fun to see him do his thing. Um, no, we got. I love it. Yeah, there's lots, lots of good Daredevil in this episode. Yeah, and we also got, um, you know, for a person such as Jen who says that men don't like her and, like, she can't find love, she's 
she gets some she gets some loving. She got this is another the second episode in a row where she gets a little bit of of, of love attention from the guys and and yeah. the ma- I'm like in the comics. Well, you know, last episode it wasn't. Uh, yeah, he was kind of a true. jerk. Yeah, it was kind yeah. of. Uh, but we might. Yeah, I, I would love to see like some like a like a, like a in a, in the dead of episodes. Jen kind of goes to New York to visit. That'd be kind of fun. Yeah, yeah, that would be cool. I, I, that'd be really cool. Um, but yeah, so like the little romance in the comics, She Hulk and Daredevil don't kissy face, not to my knowledge. Mm. Um, but you know, they could now. I don't know. Yeah, it'll be interesting if it's a longer term relationship or, or yeah. Not. The Walk of Shame was great. I like that. Uh, yes, that. yes, that was very cool. Yeah, mm-hmm. he that even even took his boots off for it. Yeah. So we got. Do you other... think oh, that okay. Daredevil will be in the next episode? No. Yeah. Okay. I kind of think so he we... will. I kind of think here's, he will. Here, here's why I think he will be in the next episode. Okay. And it's I got to kind of explain what happened. Right, she goes to this um, banquet. Uh, she mm-hmm. gets an award, and the intelligentsia basically uh, re- used revenge porn. Yeah, they took so, over, like, the monitor in the room. Yeah, and this is interesting. So, to answer your question, uh, Jen gets crazy and breaks stuff, and then she it looks like she's arrested, and looks like she's going to need a lawyer, so maybe Matt's going to show up. But let's yeah. back up a little bit. This show has taken aim on these basement boy nerds since the very beginning. Have you seen this show's Twitter handles? Like the you go to the show's Twitter and they go right into them. It's hilarious. Um, and yeah, yeah, the, yeah. Mm-hmm. The idea that the sh- I, I I always thought it was interesting what the show was doing, but I didn't know they were going to take it to this extreme. And what happened is, in real life, there are times where people uh, release sex videos. It's called revenge porn, where they release sex videos to embarrass and insult women in the videos, right? Because like, mm-hmm. hey, I have this video of this woman having sex. How dare she? And the idea is they're going to attack Basically and try to ruin their, try to yeah, ruin attack their and life. embarrass them. Yeah, yeah. And, and and the whole idea is, listen, this woman dares to have sex. Like, how dare she? And right. of course, if anyone, everyone, everyone's allowed to have a a nice, happy sex life, right? Mm-hmm. But these women that are attacked. Uh, become like you know, like villains because of it. Yeah, and, and it was Josh. It it was Josh from yeah. last episode. It was Josh from last episode. He so set not up a only camera, yeah, on in her room um, before they slept together. So the show is trying to make a statement about how revenge porn is bad and revenge, and this needs to be addressed. And I love what it's doing, but from a plot perspective, we have a couple questions because okay. at last episode. He took her blood. What does the leader or whoever is yeah. in charge getting the blood? What does he get out of doing this to Jen? Like, That's what I was getting ready to it? say. So, um, you know, last episode we were still talking like, you know, Hulk King could be the leader. Um, who we'll see in some upcoming movies. But now I'm kind of wondering, I don't think it is the leader that's behind this. What do you what do you think? It's been confirmed somewhere that the leader will be at the end of this episode. I mean at the end of the series. He will but it, it, yeah, we it's been that's been confirmed. But right. but we don't that doesn't mean anything. The leader could show up and do all kinds of things. I don't I agree with you, Mike. The any kind of villain of okay, how this can I seems put this? more like it's Todd that's behind yeah, this. Yeah, and I, I want Because I, and, he has his feelings were hurt. Yep. Um, I agree. When she you know, they went out on one date. It didn't work out. She was done with it. His feelings were hurt. You know, he didn't want to, um, couldn't handle being turned down by a woman. Um, yeah, I agree. So he did, did all this. But I she don't did, know she, why she, he wants her blood. Well, let's back up a little bit. She did attack him in the in the restaurant, which kind of gives some plot points. So I agree. It's probably Todd. That's going to be uh, the villain. That, that's going to be uh, wrapping things up. I, and I like the idea that Todd is going to be is going to be a villain because he's this lonely, gross person. Um, and there's a code of conduct for villains. A villain is it's okay if a villain blows up a city. That's fine. But revenge porn? No, that's just kind of ridiculous. Like and like mm-hmm. Doctor Doom could easily destroy a planet and have crazy reasons for it. But then he'll be like, like, what are you doing with this? Like, why are you? Why are you doing this? Like, it's, like, and that that code of conduct is important. And I don't think, from a storytelling element, 
like the leader would be going down so many levels in his in in, in his world just to do yeah. that. I don't I don't see that. Unless there's some kind of bigger plot to capture She-Hulk for some reason, I think that the leader stuff that we've been speculating of and this mm-hmm. intelligentsia stuff is separate. Uh, and I think that when we do see the leader, I don't think he's going to be a villain. I think he's going to show up and, and be there. But I think the blood and some other things are, are just doing different stuff. Uh, that's my thinking here. It doesn't make any sense from a plot point. Yeah, I don't know why Todd would want her blood. Uh, I don't. Unless he know. wants to become a Hulk, I don't. Maybe we you know he does collect things. He constantly he, he paid a million things. dollars true. for that That's Wakanda true. spear, so maybe he just wants to collect their blood. Just to be weirdo about it. Um, that he did could call be her a, a specimen. It was yeah, that's true. Uh, that's, yeah, you know what? You butterflies, know what? you know they they have to yeah, determine what the specimens. specimens are and all that. You might be hundred um, percent correct, Michael. In this, like, he could just it could be Todd. He's collecting the, his, her blood just to be weird about it and everything else. But maybe the leader at some point shows up and takes the blood. I don't know. Uh, we we'll have to wait. We just gotta be, wait. Yeah. We gotta wait. I mean, we now know why Josh copied her phone in the last episode. Mm-hmm. That didn't really fit with thinking the leader was behind all this. Yeah. It definitely fits with the intelligence and Todd being behind it. Yeah. And I just can't get over how I felt so upset for Jen when that video started playing. And, like, yeah. I never... And no one shut it down. Like, come on. Like, you know, exactly. unplug all those yeah. monitors or something. And, and the show's doing a really good job making this making us understand, like, like with art and entertainment. So this is... I wouldn't call this art. I would call this entertainment, which is fair. Mm-hmm. Entertainment can, and can in, in very subtle ways, inform people. And so if you have oh, a yeah, lot absolutely. of people watching the show... And they realize, you know what? That's gross. Maybe a bunch of people will change. Maybe some people. Maybe people can have a conversation about this. Maybe we can highlight it. I think it's really. I think it's really fun. I think it's 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 cool. And uh, I think I like the responsibility. Fun, but yeah, it's cool that they're doing it. Yes, I don't know why I said fun. Um, <laughs> but I like the responsibility that the show has taken upon itself to do, which is trying to highlight these things. And the She Hulk's like they knew She Hulk would get the get the same attention that everything else got. They use that to their right. advantage. It's really fun. It's I don't want to say fun again. Uh, it's really creative, and, and it's, it's good stuff. It's it's it's, it's clever, and, and it makes me appreciate the show more. And I'm getting that feeling again, Mike. That when we're getting ready to wrap up a show, I feel sad. Right? <laughs> like, yeah. Uh, we're not, no more Seahawk episodes. Oh man. Um, uh. Do you think that uh, She Hulk will continue to be employed by G L H and K? After this Here, episode, prediction time. Are you ready? I'm putting uh-huh. prediction hat on. You ready? Yep. At the end of at the end of the series, she will have her own law thing going on. It's gonna be on her. She's gonna do her own thing. She's not gonna work at that company anymore. She's gonna mm. be her own boss, doing her own thing. She's gonna and pull she on also, Matt Murdock. Yeah, and she also will be a 100. percent I'm a superhero. Boom, done. Like she's going yeah, the, to the look that her boss, Holden Holloway, gave her when, um, or didn't give her, but the look on his face when she destroyed those monitors mm-hmm. um, tells me that she's not going to be working there for, for much longer. And, and I don't want her to be working there any longer. I want her to, I yeah, want her yeah, to do yeah. her own thing. Yeah, it's going to be a complete transformation. Right. Uh, and, and a segue, a real quick segue, I thought her Hulk little outfit was great. I thought her Hulk spandex outfit looked great. I thought she looked good. Yeah, it looked good. I thought the CGI of this episode looked good. Uh, we got a lot of good intimate close-ups. Did you see how many facial close-ups we got this episode? Lots of mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. The CGI did look good this episode. Yeah, good. Tatiana's gray as always. Everything You're not great. much of a car guy, are you? Uh, I, I I appreciate cars. I do recognize that cars contribute to carbon pollution, and we need to do things to fix that. Right, absolutely. I, I, yeah. I want to buy a, a, a I want to buy an EV at some point. I love I think, cars, but I hate cars at the same time. Yeah, I think that we should computerize cars because people um, make traffic worse because they can't drive. I mean, I'd love for that to be the the case, but I don't think it's ever going to happen. Mm. The reason I bring cars up though is I cannot figure out what kind of car Leapfrog was driving in this episode. It looks like a Porsche. It looks like it's either one of two things. It's either a highly modified Lotus, mm-hmm. uh, Ali's Series 1, which you could never buy in, in America, 
Um, and it has those frog eyes on the front. Um, the front of it looks a lot like a Lotus, uh, series one Lotus Elise. Mm-hmm. Uh, the wheels are the same, I think, that the, the Lotus had. Uh, but it also has some like Miata shape to it. Mm. Um, and then the tail lights look exactly like the, the Lotus tail lights, too. Mm. That would go with him, like his parents being wealthy. Like mm. the Miata doesn't really fit with his parents are wealthy. Why would he have a highly modified Miata? Mm. But whatever it is, it's highly modified. It's not it's not stock at all because I can't really make out what it is. I only knew a couple of words you just said, uh, to, <laughs> <laughs> to be fair. Um, but going talking about the segue in the cars. You remember the scene where she threw the car at Daredevil? Yeah, I didn't like that. I I'll, thought that was uh, like, what? Well, you don't need to do that. Yeah, it's fun though. Um, but when she picked it up, it took her. Like, I don't like to... seeing these superheroes like destroy property uh, and they don't really need to. Like, okay, stop. You could have right. done something. Whoa, else. time out, time out. The destruction of property is a number one part of being a superhero. <laughs> that's I know of, it is. That's I one know of the it benefits. Is. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, you can't stop that. That's, that's how it is. Destruction of property. Okay, all right. So. If you're around a superhero, stuff's going to get destroyed. This is how it works. You know, like the first Avengers movie, like I felt bad with like all of that destruction going on around New York City. Uh, I didn't feel that way. I felt great. <laughs> right. Yeah, because you're into yeah. comics, and I'm not. Yeah, you know, you know what? That makes a really uh, makes a lot of good point. In, in comic books, property is just destroyed, and like it's kind of like. It's kind of like a little bit of pornography. A little bit. It's like, wow, yeah. look at all that destruction. And Matt um, Murdock brought it up a little bit. He's like, yeah. you, you, you ever destroyed a, a parking lot before? Yeah, that's fun. Uh, you know, that was a big complaint with the um, Man of Steel movie, uh, the Snyder Man of Steel movie. People complained that there was too much property damage. Mm. Uh, I agree. It was over the top. The entire city was destroyed. <laughs> people in wow. buildings eliminated. Just like mil- thousands of people killed. What that's city? a little bit much. It was Metropolis. That's what oh, Superman's. Okay. Yeah. Like, you, you watch Man of Steel, correct? I don't even know. Mm. At some point, we might do a couple of DC movies. I kind of would like to do a. I kind of would like to do a Man of Steel. Might be kind of fun. Um, There's a, they've got some good movies. They got some bad ones. They got. Some, I would. You know what, Mike? I would actually watch all the Snyder DC movies with you. Man as, of Steel. As long as we don't watch that really long. Thing. Batman. Batman's. Yeah. Oh, we have to watch the Snyder Cut. We got. We got. No, the no, no, Cut. I watched it. Already. There's no other reason. There's no other reason to watch it but the Snyder Cut. I went. I'm not watching anything else. Um. Let's do some wrapping up. Are you okay. ready? Oh, are you ready for news you can't use? Oh, wait, no. One more part? thing. One last thing. Sure. Go. Was that damage control that showed up to arrest uh, She Hulk? It has to be. It Question like is, it, right? Where they show up? How do they get there so fast? Yeah. How are? Yeah. Exactly. How are they there? Like on the spot. Yeah, uh, cop, normal cop. Well, you know, if we live in the world where superheroes are everywhere, then maybe yeah, we have. Um, yes, yeah, there's probably guys. damage control offices in every major city. You know, we at at this point, what's the so Wakanda Forever comes out next, right? Yes, is and we have Werewolf by Night that comes out Friday. Um, Ooh, we got to talk about that. Um, is there any show between? Is what's the next series we have? Do we even know? I don't even know. There needs to be a show that cleans up some of this. That the Sokovia, the Sokovia oh, Accords, yeah. damage control, all this stuff. Yeah. We like this has been so many movies. I've like, been so many Disney Plus shows, so many movies. Everything's just kind of going, going, going. We need to kind of time out, and we need someone to explain the world we're living in now, because the world we're living in now is way different than Iron Man One. You know, so we need to get explained. But that'd be kind of um, cool. They could do a um, like a mockumentary series. Oh, that's brilliant! Mm, where it's like oh, a like documentary that. of what's going on in the MCU. Ooh. You know, there is a comic in that was published by Marvel called Marvels. That were that were it was a it was I think it was a journalist who talked about the superheroes through his eyes. So every uh, every comic um, every comic release, what's it called? Every issue. Uh, highlight a different superhero character and some of the motifs. So it was like a normal person watching the Fantastic Four or a normal ah. person watching Spider-Man or a normal person seeing Galactus for the first time. So that would be great. A Marvel, a Marvels would be awesome. Um, so Disney Plus, uh, you can pay us through Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, just <laughs> dump it into our accounts uh, and just give us some money. Oh, right. Just do it. Hey, speaking uh, okay. of giving us money, you, you, you made a bet. Another one? 
No, the, oh, this... <laughs> the the original bet. I'm still waiting on that money. Oh, all right, I'll I'll send it. I'll send it to you, Apple Cash. Uh, yeah. At some at yeah. some point, I get paid tomorrow. Can you wait till tomorrow? Yeah, I can wait until you get paid. Yeah, I can wait. All right. I won't eight send do- Rocket Raccoon after you. Eight dollars? You said? Yeah, eight. Yeah. All right. Okay. Um, I, I gotta quit betting. I'm losing. Yeah. Money next time, bets. don't make a monetary bet. Do something else. Nah. It's no fun. All right. News <laughs> you can't abuse. This kind of ties into Daredevil, uh, Mike. Really? Werewolf, Werewolf by Night has a mature rating for the very first uh, time. Oh, I see where you're going. Okay. Yeah. So Werewolf by Night is supposed yeah, to... Yeah, I think... I don't think we have anything to worry about. I think Disney knows. Like, they've they've done all the precursor steps they needed to do. They they brought in um, all the Netflix stuff. Um, they brought in, like, some movies that were... Like the Netflix stuff is rated TV MA. Yeah, I think they brought in some movies that were rated R, and yep. they did that. They like brought in parental controls that they would need to do for all that. Yeah, um, so I think we're set. I don't think we have anything to worry about. I think Daredevil is going to be TV MA, just like it was on on Netflix. Agreed, hundred percent. They have to, uh, and I agree, hundred percent. Um, are we going to talk? Are we going to watch Werewolf by Night? Are we going? Are we going to watch this thing? We probably should. Yeah. So this, okay. Well, when does when does it come out? Friday, we'll talk about. It. We'll talk Friday, about. It. Yeah. All right. Uh, and the new Wakanda Forever trailer is it, is it a is it a like a, a it's a one off? Is it a series? It's a one. It's a one off. I don't okay. know how long it is. We'll have to figure it out. Um, next, the new Wakanda Forever trailer. Mike, did you watch this? I did watch this. Okay, so there's a couple things in this trailer. Um, so there's a couple things. First, did you see Namor for the first time flying? Did you see that? I saw it. Yeah. You yeah. See he's got little. Yeah, little, little wings like fish, on his feet, little fish wings. No, it's his... not fish. It's not fish. They look like they look they're like not, fish. They're not fish. They're feathers. They're feathered wings, Mike. They're feathered wings. Don't they look kind of like fish? No, fins? they're no? not fish fins. They're feathered they're wings. Feathered fins. All they, right. They are feathered wings. Well, There's... he's got little wings on his ankles, on his th- and that's yeah. what he uses to fly. Did you see? He can fly fly pretty fast as small Dude, as those wings are. I loved what they did. Like he's not flying normally. He was in air floating, and it looks like he's stepping through the air. Right. You no. Know? Right. So that's yeah. so good. That is that is creativity. It's like a highly that's, advanced version of what Mrs. Marvel was doing with her. Yes. Platforms. It's, yeah. it's creative. It's thinking about them in a different way. It's smart. Um. Next, we saw Ironheart. We saw a lot of Ironheart, which I thought was cool. Uh, in her in the new suit, I like that. Oh, and, I didn't really see. I, I mean, I, I saw it. I'm sure, but I didn't really know yeah, what sh- I was seeing. They show the actual suit a couple times, and then we see her in the side of the suit with the typical Iron Man the, oh, heads yeah, up the, display. Yeah, right, I remember so seeing that. That's yeah. gonna be nice. Uh, and then we got to see in big flashy detail the new Black Panther suit. A woman is definitely in there. We have no idea who's in it still. So it's got we have no idea. I know it's frustrating, but we're not going to know until we're not going to know until we watch it. Some um, people were saying that since there were dots on the mask, that it's definitely um what's her face? Shuri. Yeah, Shuri. Because Shuri yeah. had some of those dots on her face in Well Shuri movie. In, in the comics, Shuri did become the next Black Panther, so it makes sense, but there's other characters in the show in the movie that would also make sense as a Black Panther. We don't know. I do not want to speculate. I just want to wait and see. Um, yeah, but, but so there's nothing in this trailer that like kills my hope that it's um, Nakia. Nakia, right? There's nothing no, that's, that's like, oh no, it's, there's no way it's Nakia. No, we have, we have no idea who it is because we it get a be... good shot of Nakia in this, and she's wearing some kind of a suit that's not the Black Panther suit, but it's not. Hey, I'm an everyday Wakandan suit either. See, here's the deal. It, when you're doing a trailer like this and you're doing marketing like Marvel's doing right now, Marvel Disney, how long will the I don't I want to go see this movie because I want to know who's behind the suit. How long will that work? I feel yeah. like that might work for opening night, but then after that, all the trailers and stuff will just have her face. Um probably. So what, I mean, it, from a marketing plan, I think it's smart. Like, every no one's going to know who the Black Panther is. You go and watch it, and then all of a sudden you have that big moment where you realize who she is, and then yeah, or you might yell yeah, or be ah. Uh. And, and this I has got to be the last trailer before the show opens. Right? Yeah, it comes out yeah. November 11th, so that's a month away. We'll get we'll get another trailer. Um, but there's two things here. One, Mike, I know I know Shuri's got a lot going on. The actress who plays Shuri has a lot going on. 
Mm-hmm. I think that so. I think if you watch the movie and she's act and the acting and stuff works out, I think a lot of that stuff can be forgotten by the time you see her in the suit if she is in the suit. So that's one. Mm-hmm. And then two, we got some plot points. There's a couple of times what I'm thinking that the reason why Namor attacks Wakanda is because I think Wakanda might have stolen something from them. We don't know for sure. I mm. don't know. But there's a but because like Namor has no reason to attack Wakanda. Unless something, unless Wakanda did something to them, so there, it, there's definitely going to be like a third party villain that we don't know about. Um, they must like been the, living underwater up until this point, right? We have no, I don't know, I don't know, oh. I don't know if he's been asleep. I don't know what's going on at all. Um, so we just gotta wait. Um, mm-hmm. But <sighs> there's more and more indications that like Doctor Doom or some other kind of big villains going to be involved and like it's going to be some stuff going on with that but how do you get how are you getting the Doctor Doom vibes from this <sighs> well in the in the in the in the in the in the trailer um Queen Mother says like you will hear your whispers you say the king is dead we're unprotected and then kind of and then she kind of says like good luck trying to take us on like we are protected we're not vulnerable um, but then it looks like they are vulnerable. It looks like somebody is attacking them. So the question is, who's going to try to take all that all that um, vibranium from Wakanda? Who's trying to get their resources? Doctor Doom makes sense. That's a good way to introduce him as a villain. Mm-hmm. Um, but again, we don't we don't know. Who knows? Um, but at the end of at the end of the movie, Namor is not Namor. People should think Namor is not the villain. He's going to fight Wakandans. He's going to fight them. But he's definitely not going to be the villain of the movie. He's not a villain in the comics, right? He's a he's a he's, hero. Man, he's done both. He's been a, he's has he has been a villain and he's been a hero. That's the cool thing about Namor. You never uh, know okay. what he's going to do. Because right. in the in the comics, he did he did team up with Doctor Doom a few times, um, but then he switched places and joined the Avengers. And then he and then there's a the time when he was completely crazy and did it all kinds of stuff. And Doctor Namor- Doom himself is also kind of a sympathetic villain, right? Oh yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah, was, uh, we look at, I don't know again. Speculation's fine. We'll get into Doctor Doom when he actually shows up in one of these movies. Oh yeah, baby, there's a lot to talk about with Doctor Doom. Yeah, Uh, that is all the news you can abuse. That is it. That's all of it. That's right. Mm -hmm. So, Mike, let me ask you a question. Let me ask a question here. Uh, We have a final episode of She Hulk coming up. Uh We, our listeners, are having a great time listening to us talk about She Hulk. Yeah, they they want they want people to listen to it as well. The family, their friends. Uh, Halloween's coming up, so as a good trick, trick or treat, you can put our show onto a little USB device and <laughs> throw it into kids' trick or treat bags. <laughs> that won't be weird at all. It could no, be huh? pornography, could yeah. be our podcast. Who knows, yeah, that kids? Was, that wouldn't be weird at all. Plug no, this strange USB port into you your know what? computer. I'm, gonna, right now. I'm just going to go out and say, "Hey, listeners, don't do this. No, do it. <laughs> do yeah, it. Don't yeah, don't do that." Uh, Maybe like leave a USB key out on the sidewalk or something, you know? or hook up some speakers in your yard. Oh, so yeah, when trick or treaters, when yeah. trick or treaters come by and listen to us talk about yeah. uh, stuff, and like, hey, who was this podcast? You gotta listen to something while you're waiting for trick or treaters. You know, yeah. mm-hmm. you're sitting out on your on your front porch drinking a beer or some wine or whatever. Is that what you do? Uh, that's what some people do. Is that I might do that this year? I've never done that. I've never given candy out to kids. Oh, really? That's yeah, good. it's it's fun. I kind of want to do it. Yeah. Yeah, but we don't have a house. We have a apartment. Uh, yeah. Can, well, can, can I visit sit? for Halloween? Yeah. And do it. Can I sit? Yeah. Can I sit on the street corner and like just hand out candy to kids walking by? Yeah. Yeah. Man, I'm not doing that. Why not? Why not? All right. Share our share our show. Share it. Yeah, we like don't say it. this enough. Like, we do always say share it. But we talk about sharing it to your friends. You can also share it to social media. You know. Yeah. Put share it on Twitter. Yeah. Put it on Facebook. Put it on. You could co- comment on us on YouTube. There's been some interesting comments about us. Thank you all, people on YouTube, for loving our podcast. We really appreciate. it. Please right. keep listening. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. Share it, like it. Let's take over the world. All right. Yeah, also, I'll, rate, review, oh, star, yes. thumbs up. Yes, yes. All that. All stuff. those good things. Yeah. All, yeah. All, and all, uh, I, so I guess you're going to get a bonus episode, uh, Werewolf by Night. Yeah, we got between f- now and. And next yeah. Thursday. We got to work it out. Sounds good to me. 